So when you think of Weatherspoons, you probably think about maybe breakfast, maybe a bit of lunch, maybe a drink, but have you ever thought about staying in a Weatherspoons hotel? There are more and more hotels springing up now by the popular brand, and there's one in Great Yarmouth I thought I will go and check out. It's on the corner of Regent Road in a really good location in Great Yarmouth, so I thought I'd go and check it out. Let's go. So it does have its own dedicated reception area, but you actually can't get in this way. It says that you've got to go around into the bar to ask to be checked in. I've already done that, so I'll show you from this entrance. So they do have a reception. It's obviously unmanned and you have to go to the bar, but someone would come here. There's also an exit out this way. So I'm on the third floor, but I'm gonna get out on the second floor. So with any Weatherspoons, you'll know the theming of the hotels are always very local, including the carpet, which in this case is based on the, on the wall of Great Yarmouth that surrounds the town. These old rail advertisement photos. Look at that, Great Yarmouth and Goulston. So let's walk up to the third floor where I'm staying. The main pub is downstairs. Toilets on the, on the first level. So this is quite quiet. And I have to say, it's quite posh as well. I love how in this particular hotel, it's all in the, the attic. Look at the lights on the slant. Massive big windows. Obviously the lift can take you up here and security is really good as well. So to get into your room, there are two doors. So you open one and then you have to use your card again to get into the rooms. But just look how cool these look. To be honest, I didn't know what to expect. So more rooms are down there. I've decided to book a family room because I'm gonna be staying with Gabby. Look at that, photos of Great Yarmouth and the Pleasure Beach on the wall. So my room is number 301. Let's go and check it out. Wow, it's pretty big from here. So straight away, I've got my ironing board, my iron, I think some new towels there, and, and a trusty hairdryer in the bag. So this is a family room, so I expect it to be pretty big, which it is. Wow, I love these kind of attic rooms. Look at the view you've got out of this window, huge windows. Just overlooking Regent Road and the room is very spacious. Now this is, I know it's a sofa, but this is a sofa bed. We'll go and check out the bathroom in a second. The windows are huge. And I, I love the fact that if I just stand back a minute, look at that, corner suite as the sun is going down, beautiful sunset tonight. These windows. And the curtains, very opulent. And just look at the size of this telly. This is huge. It's more like a, a real posh living room. And then, of course, we've got the bed. I will do the bed test in a moment. Let's check out the view from the, from the west-facing window, shall we? As we look over Market Gate Shopping Centre. Do the windows, the windows open? So we can let some fresh air in. Just checking out the curtains. They feel like pretty thick, heavy duty curtains and they really are real heavy curtains. So that'll help with the sound because at the minute, just because we're by the bus station, I can hear a lot of the traffic noise. These are double glazed, but I can still hear it a little bit. So hopefully that'll help a little bit later on. What looks like a brand new kettle. Look at that, mind you, there's some water still in there. So we've got two nice glasses. We've even got some biscuits, Walkers, good brand. Belgium chocolate, and some shortbread. We've even got some hot chocolate, coffee, tea bags, and loads of milk as well. We don't have like a mini fridge or anything, but I'm not bothered about that. I see a nice chair, although that chair looks a little bit, uh, little bit stained. The Weatherspoons menu. I wonder, do they do room service? I wonder if you're allowed to bring your food up to your room. It has a phone here. You can press zero for reception, but reception isn't manned, so whether that goes down to the bar, I'm not sure. A little seat and a table, maybe for reading, but it's time to do the bed test. 
a little bit hard actually. I was expecting this to be a little bit more softer. You can feel the springs in this, certainly not a memory foam. Let's switch on the, the lamps. They've got these really tiny little switches and these little reading lamps which are, which are nice. That's a lot more brighter. Love the headboard. Feels like almost soft leather. Love the, the mahogany wood look and interesting wallpaper. But this is a really spacious room. Handy to have some USB charging. That's kind of a given now in new hotels. Let's double check the TV works. So I might need to get some help with how I turn the TV on. Unless this remote's not working, but I can't see any red light. There you go, there was just a, a big delay. Honestly, I just can't get over how big that television is in this room. Now the double rooms are probably a little bit smaller than this and because this is a family room so that's why it's such a bigger space. But I'll tell you what, if you didn't have a family and you and somebody else wanted to come and stay, book one of these rooms. They're so much more spacious than a double room. So look at that, a drawing by some children from a local primary school. So this is the bathroom. It's quite an interesting design that you come in here and you've got the bathroom kind of like in the middle and then you've got the bedroom and the living space wrapped around. So have we got a bath? Yes, we have. And we have a shower as well, a huge walk-in shower, a rainfall shower. I absolutely love these. And some complimentary body wash. Love the tiles. Do you know this is the same kind of style I'd want if I had a bathroom this big, which I don't. Some fresh towels here. Little vanity mirror. Whoa, I look huge. Toilet. That's actually a really big sink. Only one problem though, that light doesn't seem to be working over the bath, but it's not overly a big deal. Again, there's a, a shower in here, as well as a nice deep bath. I did see some reviews on TripAdvisor talking about hair being left in the bath, but it looks good to me. Some more shower gel there. Nice heated towel rail, that's what you need. But I'm very impressed with this bathroom. That's a really nice bathroom. So obviously you're not gonna be staying here alone. I wanna get Gabby's opinion because she's never stayed in a Weatherspoons hotel either. Let's go and find out what she says. Welcome. Hi. Tell me what you think. I'm really excited because I've always wondered what a Weatherspoons hotel room is gonna be like. Oh my God, it's really big. Oh my God, look at the windows. Oh, this is really nice. I'm really shocked actually. Look how big the TV is. <laughs> That's what I said as well. Oh wow, I've got a nice view of the pound shop. Wow. So I just noticed there's this thing down here. Rent-a-kill insect detector. Can't say I've ever seen one of those in a hotel before. So we've just left the baby with the babysitter, his sister. And we're gonna go down and experience a Weatherspoons dinner. Not that we've ever tried one before. <laughs> we normally just only ever come to Weatherspoons for breakfast. Coming to dinner is a slightly different experience. I'm looking forward to the breakfast in the morning, but one thing I'm gutted about is at the minute they've got an egg shortage and also a shortage of potatoes. Hash browns. Or hash browns, yeah. So it's not much of a, a, a breakfast, but we'll still uh, show you what it's like in the morning anyway. I guess the only good thing is, is the fact that um, it's not gonna cost us an arm and a leg for, for food. But high heels on. I do have high heels on because wow. it's an opportunity to wear some because I don't usually go out much. Wow, there was a lot of stairs. We should have took the lift. We should have took the lift actually. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept thinking it'd be the same as if you go to the toilet. This is a Weatherspoons that actually does have a fireplace that's not on. I haven't seen that on for ages actually, have you? I've never really looked at it. Hey, we can sit there. Yeah, we can sit there. I feel a bit overdressed for Weatherspoons. This is my first date night really since the baby's been born, apart from when we've been on holiday. So yeah, I thought I'd treat myself to a bit of lipstick. I, however, haven't overly dressed up and I've got no makeup on today. You are Maybe wearing... You can't, they can't see you. But he is wearing a very nice jumper that I bought him for his birthday, so he is kind of dressed up. I think the only thing that's missing is that you can't get room service, so you can't get your breakfast to your room in the morning or you can't get a late night snack, but it's not a big deal coming downstairs, really. Cheers. So Gabby has gone for the steak. Sirloin. They Sirloin. don't have the option for fillet okay. here in the Weatherspoons. I've gone for the traditional fish and chips, and I tell you what, just looking at the, uh, I know I did that with my hands. Look at the <laughs> batter. Wow. Mushy peas. I'll do a taste test in a moment. I always 
really like the fish and chips at the Weatherspoons, to be honest with you. I think it's alright. For what you pay, it's alright. Tartar sauce on the cod. Do you know what? It's nice that Weatherspoons actually gives you in a proper bottle. Instead of those sachets that you can Yeah, instead of the sachets, yeah. Honestly, I have to lather mine up with tartar sauce okay. and the salt and the vinegar. Really difficult to do salt in a sachet. I have to pinch it, don't I? I should do the crunch test like I always do. I don't know if you heard that. That was an epic crunch. First time I've ever had fish and chips and a spoons. It's not bad, but the cod is a bit dry, I'm not gonna lie. The batter though is amazing. So the steak is meant to be medium rare. So it's a little bit on the tough side, but then I never expect them to get it perfect, to be honest with you. Let's try it. It could be better cooked, medium rare, but for what you pay, it's absolutely fine. You get what you pay for, I'm a strong believer of that. So after an uninspiring fish and chip meal, we're gonna head back in and <laughs> we'll catch up with you in the morning. She's slightly intoxicated. So it's just after eight in the morning. And that guy is using that big long pole thing and washing our windows at eight in the morning on a hotel. So morning and it's time to go for breakfast. We got the car, it's ready to go. The fire is lit. It's going out a little bit, that's nice. So breakfast is served and very happy the fact that I've got an egg. It's the bacon, the bacon's hot for a change. It's normally cold, isn't it? Ever since we got in here early, usually we're cutting it fine, so we probably get the dregs. So um, I've just gone for a traditional English breakfast, minus the hash browns, because I've just found out that hash browns contain milk. And we, and we can't have milk because of this little fella. So our first time staying in a Weatherspoons hotel. I actually really enjoyed it. Me too, I really liked it. In fact, I was very impressed. I didn't think it would be this posh. There are a few problems to this particular hotel. One is there's no real parking here. In fact, you have to park in the shopping centre and I don't think they give you a discount. I also found the water not staying as hot as I'd liked in the shower, to be honest. Even though the windows are double glazed, you do get quite a chill from them, especially in the winter, I did notice that, and uh, the heating is coming from the air conditioning rather than heating or underfloor heating. It does get chilly, you have to really crank that up. The bed was really comfy, I love the huge TV. I mean, nobody comes to stay in a hotel to watch television, but it's actually quite nice to have that. One thing I do never understand about these hotels, or any hotel, for a fact, is that two pillows is too high, one pillow is too low. Nobody can get it right yeah, yet. Yeah, I have the same problem every time. Now, even though there's no one manning reception all the time, when we picked up the phone to ask someone to come up and make the travel bed and also bring a cot up for us, they did it very quickly. And then I also had to ask them for two extra pillows for the bed, which they did, no problem. The staff were actually really nice. And of course, the bonus staying in a Weatherspoons hotel, you get to enjoy a Weatherspoons breakfast. So I paid £79 for one night. This was a family room and I did leave it to the last minute. I didn't book it in advance. If you book it in advance, you might get it cheaper. The only real problem that I had with the room was not actually with the room. It was the guy washing the windows at eight in the morning. Oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Yeah, that was a little bit annoying. What was that all about? We were like, what's going on? What what, what on earth is that noise? Open the windows to see... I could hear banging see... on the window and I thought, we're three floors up. What's yeah. that all about? Open the window <laughs> to see someone with a squeezy brush doing the windows. Squeezy brush. What did I say? Squeezy. <laughs> a squeezy brush. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you drop a comment. Would you stay in a Weatherspoons hotel? Have you stayed in one? Are there worse ones? Because I found this pretty good. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Weatherspoons. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.